Welcome to Twisted Monday. So, we'll start with good news. The GoFundMe crowdfund uh, fundraiser for funds has met its goal. I've been pushing it ridiculously hard for quite a while. And it paid off. So that's excellent news. Doesn't mean I'm going to shut up about it, but I will talk about it less. Because the goal has been met. That is a massive, massive achievement. Tremendous, indescribable thanks to everyone who helped out. And hopefully people will continue to help out. Because like I said, further contributions will be appreciated and will be rewarded with additional stream content. If you contribute something in the ballpark of like 20 bucks, you can also pick a level and a character. I will play that level with that character. So consider that for future or even today's stream if you're into that sort of thing. In the meantime, we've got bad news. I've played as every character in this game, except the ladies. There are three vehicles driven by women and they're bad. They're really bad. They're arguably the worst vehicles in the game, but they're the only options I have left. So I must pick from among them. And today I have selected Grasshopper. Grasshopper is Krista Sparks. His daughter dad was dead, but she was wrong. If you're at all familiar with Twisted Metal, you know a little bit about what she's referring to, but they intentionally keep it vague here. So I shall do the same. What we really want to pay attention to is the stats. Nothing above a three. Excellent handling. Hooray. And like miserable armor, atrocious armor. There's no reason this vehicle should have such bad armor. But it has among the worst armors in the game. So today's day for those who like a lot of content, not necessarily a lot of progress or like rapid success in their gameplay probably going to spend a lot of time in this playthrough as this vehicle is imbalanced against her favor tragically but get your yeehaws out in chat because we are going to be hearing that a lot still don't have a yeehaw emote because I could not find an image that accurately portrayed that yeehaw attitude Maybe I'll just get combo to death by Twister immediately, since I literally cannot move once Twister grabs me. You'd think our special would allow us to leap out of the danger that Twister represents. Tragically, no. Never. Nothing gets you out of a Twister special. So I already gotta go for the full heal. And I will probably abuse the minion special quite a bit. Because the tools actually available to Grasshopper are very, very bad. But also, we need to shield when we use our special. Or else we will probably take damage. We need to shield with very precise timing. Or our shield will wear off before the special lands and will take damage anyway. But yeehaw. At least Krista enjoys destroying her own extremely weak vehicle for the sake of harming the other vehicles. She sure doesn't have a lot of self-preservation instinct. Isn't that odd? You'd think a human being would really want to protect themselves better than anything Krista Sparks is doing right now. But that doesn't seem to be her attitude towards life. 
Why, that attitude will only be sustainable if you are mass-produced on some sort of factory line. But of course we know, Krista has a rich lineage. She's learned about her father. She wants to go kill him. Admirable. For obvious reasons, I support all patricide. Just kill them all. <laughs> I don't care what your reason is. This is satire. So we'll be hurling ourselves at opponents. Which is as destructive as it sounds to ourselves. Less destructive than you would think to the opponents. It's very, very, very effective when the AI does this. When we do it, we get very wildly different results every time. So I'm probably going to barely scrape by every single level and have to reset my life count using passwords, which is something I started to avoid doing at this point in my full playthroughs. But this is a character that's really, really intentionally underpowered and bad. So I really, really need to use every tool that is available to me. Those tools include... Uh... Dying, probably? Okay, I got a shield off. No, those tools include... All sorts of invincibilities and, uh... Minion specials. And... Resetting our life count with passwords. Things the game doesn't necessarily intend for you to do. But allows for you to do if you're bad at it or playing as one of the bad characters. Um, I got some kind of sound notification here on Twitch, but it, it's not showing me what happened there. And trying desperately to rear fire, but the detection is very, very, very bad in this game. So it often takes many, many tries to get a rear fire to work properly. Uh-oh. Axel has stopped me in place like a genius. Yep. Wants me to know the true uh, vocalization while using your special is and forever shall be Axel Power. Our yeehaws are no match. I mean, it's, it's true. Can't really take a shot of the king. Axel is legitimately an overpowered vehicle. Or you could look at him as the power balance in this game. If you enjoy playing as him, that is perfectly fine. I enjoyed my full playthrough with Axel. Which was a very long time ago and will probably be much faster than this playthrough today. Even though I'm now much better at the game. Yeehaw! How am I going to kill Axel here? Luckily, we can't burn to death. So I'm essentially at 1 HP, and there's no health refills. There we go. Trying to do energy moves. Too many inputs, though. You can't really do them in an emergency like that. It is what it is. It's Twisted Metal 2. Now I can kill Axel once and for all. Once I line him up and he isn't behind me. Gotcha. 
Good riddance to the deadliest opponent here. Shadow is the second deadliest, so lucky me. It never ends with this game. It might end very soon and very badly. Because we could die very quickly. There are a lot of enemies still in the green here. And my special is not working. It's very, very random. But your special will actually do what is it, it is intended to do. But lately, it just ain't. Which is perfectly fine and great. I love it. This is one of the playthroughs I was dreading, but it's actually pretty fun. When I initially played as Grasshopper during the Let's Play years ago, I was much, much worse at the game than I am now. Because I was good enough to play through the game with the overpowered characters like Sweet Tooth and Axel. But I had to play through other vehicles like Grasshopper, and I considered it virtually impossible to do so. The initial recording of my Grasshopper playthrough took many hours, I want to say like four or five hours, between practice and the numerous attempts that went into the actual recording. down. Outlaw is often a big problem. And likely will be so today as well. And Thumper can pretty much instant kill me. The special seems to have the highest DPS of anything in this game. And we have a very low HP. Not a good combo. But you just gotta stay away from the front of him. And I haven't seen a single health refill reappear over the course of this playthrough so far. So we absolutely have no guarantee of victory at this point. And this is that terrible moment. Where the enemies start to... Um, go in these sunken streets. And while they're down there, they're very hard to get to safely. And they can easily avoid all your attacks. The reason Thumper and uh, Outlaw have persisted for so long is their insistence on staying on the lower level. They're the two vehicles that are most likely to do so. They do not like to come to the upper levels to fight you. And that is a fantastic strategy for improving their lifespans. All right. That was a tremendous percentage of his uh, health bar. Also cost me half a mine. Just enjoy the jamming tunes while the health refills finally come back. This level is normally very, very easy. It's abnormally hard for Grasshopper, even relative to the rest of the Grasshopper run. Just the shape of this level and the way the enemies behave while they're here. Could not be worse for Grasshopper. And there are not a lot of turbo pickups available, and Grasshopper is very reliant on turbo. Because Grasshopper sucks at absolutely everything. Usually the one advantage of playing as a low armor vehicle is the high speed, so you can maneuver more easily. But Grasshopper also has terrible speed. 
it's her greatest strength and it's still really bad. Criminally underpowered guard. Yep. So my special keeps not going off. Several times now I have hit the button to activate it and nothing has happened. At least most of the time when I do it, it actually fires off of the yee-haw. I just don't actually get a lock-on, which results in no attack actually occurring. And Outlaw's right on my tail. Because Outlaw is faster than me. Outlaw who also has much better armor and a much better special. Better than me in every way. I have the moral victory. Playing as Grasshopper. Going for that patricide. Everyone always says that Outlaw is the canonical winner of the first two Twisted Metal games. Because the stories are progressive. The story of the second game directly references the story of the first one. Which is impossible, unless Outlaw actually wins the first one. And that does continue on through the third game and head on, which technically counts as the third game. I think I saw a health refill up here. Was apparently wishful thinking, though. Now I'm in the fire. Oh, God. Exploded. So that's 20 minutes down the drain with the final enemy at barely any HP. It's Twisted Metal 1 as Grasshopper. Told ya, this would take a while. But it is what we signed up for. For some reason. I mean, I did sort of, uh... Dedicate myself. To head through all these characters. And their full stories. Maybe if Outlaw doesn't spawn this time, we'll, uh, be doing a lot better. I never see Outlaw not spawn in this level. It feels hard-coded. You'd think Outlaw would not want to specifically be attacking us. For reasons that will be made evident when we see our ending. No spoilers, of course. Even better. And I'm out of ammo. So I have not seen Outlaw yet. There are enemies over in this corner that I haven't gotten to at all. None of them are Outlaw. It's a small miracle. Still gonna be very difficult. It's pretty bold that they give you so many enemies to fight. The very first level of the game. But this is a pretty difficult game, overall. I have no idea what the lock-on was going for there. Side so screwing me over, and uh, no lock-on there. Perfect. Fortunately, I cannot hurl myself off of this level to my death. You know that's gonna change. A lot of this game allows you to die by falling. Which is another reason. 
is very ill-suited to the existence of Grasshopper. Easily kill that guy, if ricochets worked. They don't, though. Ricochets are actually one of the best weapons in this entire game because of that knockback. Just absurd knockback on them. So it is very, very, very important, or unfortunate, that they're so difficult to use. Oh, get used to that. <laughs> That's nothing. That was actually, like, fine. We expect Grasshopper to die... ...twice per, uh, level. And if it happens three times per level, we're just gonna roll with that as well. Even though that's a game over. Because Grasshopper is an atrocious vehicle. This is a candidate for the worst vehicle in the entire series, although... They're telling me that uh, Twister is just as bad, if not worse. So we'll see, because I still have to do the Twister playthrough as well. In my own playthroughs with Twister, I found her to be better than this by a wide margin. But I did still have a lot of complaints about the way the Twister works. Right there, I have a bunch of inputs for energy moves not working out. There they go. Special whiffs most of the time. The way it hurls you upwards is really cruel. It should not do that. It hurls you way too far, which is the thing that makes it whiff most of the time. And that is clearly by design, but it's designed for the homing to actually work, and it doesn't. I feel like it may be related to the programming that is, uh, how Spectre's special works. Spectre's special is supposed to lock on to player one at all times. So when you play as Spectre, the homing sort of breaks a little bit. Grasshopper works the same. The leap attack is always meant to target the first player. So when that's you, weird stuff seems to happen. Mr. Grimm will probably be easy to kill. Roadkill, less so. Especially when we are both frozen. have no turbo, so I cannot put the fire out. Might be able to get away. Our handling is supposedly tight, which is supposedly a good thing. I feel like Grasshopper handles extremely poorly. This is one of my least favorite vehicles to control. So, yeah. That'll happen. That's fine, though. That was brutal. Just about killed Mr. Grimm in one special. And one more missile, we should have Roadkill dead. Which is definitely a thing that I can reasonably expect to land. Okay, I'll use my machine gun. Perfect. Wavy Chew thrilled to see Grasshopper. Which is good news, because you're gonna be seeing you're gonna be seeing Grasshopper.
for a very long time. Congratulations. And good morning. We'll be enjoying this well into the afternoon. Possibly evening. Uh, Moscow. I should not be going to Moscow. Not with one life. So, we'll load this up. Nice simple password. Three blanks. Half the inputs are blank. Lucky me. Get our lives back. Uh. Oh, I tried to disable the frame limiter. I pressed a different key. I don't know what happened, but. Yeah, I'll be trying to skip loading screens as much as possible. I expect to see a lot of them. It's not the correct direction for that missile to go. This is one of those levels where ammunition is a big problem. If you don't do the previous level deathless, then this level becomes much harder. And it will also be virtually impossible to do this level deathless. At the very least, you would want to bring a ton of ammo, a full inventory worth of ammo, to this level, and to Holland later on. This is one of those levels that simply does not have enough pickups. I was informed that if you blow up all these ramps, which can be done with a single remote bomb in the center of the arena, You can then unlock additional pickups to be collected. It's just four more things that you can get. And it takes so long between pickups regenerating that you still end up running out of ammo. And the only remote bomb that uh, appears in this level appears randomly in the tractor beam. So... We are... subject to random chance as to whether it is even possible to blow that up. Mr. Slam murdered Outlaw for me. Which is good. Outlaw is one of the worst enemies to get here in this level. Outlaw is always one of the worst enemies to get, but especially here. Because that special effects an entire wide area. So Outlaw, Axel, Twister, anything with a area of effect for their special becomes ridiculously dangerous when the evasion of that area becomes nearly impossible. I am actually kind of blazing through this. Here's a lightning pickup that is totally worthless. Does not affect a very large area of the level, and even if you manage to hit an enemy, it probably will have no effect due to a programming error. I can get an enemy in my sights, which is difficult, given the shape of this level. I will use a minion special to speed this up. Yep, that's... multiple attempts at using a minion special. <laughs> and my own special is literally suicide. Which is perfectly fine. Even Grasshopper is a bully to Grasshopper. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, it's... It's a weird challenge to play as this vehicle. That, like I said, literally destroys itself if you use it. 
definitely a choice that developers made. This is definitely a vehicle that the AI was designed to have, and no one else. are permitted to play as it, so here we are. I almost feel like there should be vehicles that are relegated exclusively to the AI. But if they did do that, then I would complain that they weren't allowing me to play certain vehicles, so there's no way to win. Not with me. Onward to Paris. So this is the level that I played as um, Grasshopper when I did the Let's Play. And like I said, it took hours of practice and additional hours of uh, recording to get a playthrough of this that was successful and I felt efficient enough to deserve being part of the Let's Play. Because I used to be very, very fixated on quality. Just an impossible degree of quality. Which I never really met. But I was obsessed with it anyway. Fortunately, I've done all the Let's Plays that I need to do for this series, so... Perfectionism no longer needs to be indulged. Clearly. This playthrough was atrocious. <laughs> but I went into it knowing it would be. I mean, it could be going worse. Could have game overed multiple times. Or in the second level as well. Second level, I almost did Deathless. Gotta stop using the special, it's gonna kill me. So too will Outlaw's special. She insists upon it. So I gotta line myself up just right here. So that I can do this. Grass hop of my way over. any more health where that came from. Every vehicle can do this. Grasshopper's a little better at it. Because vehicles do not, uh, well this vehicle specifically has enough speed to get where it needs to go without overshooting stuff. Just the right amount. Not too much, not too little. Goldilocks speed. It's perfect. Just about the only thing that is Goldilocks about. Grasshopper here. Ugh. It is really hard to get energy moves to uh, fire off consistently. Still a shame. There's my special, being useless. I really shouldn't use it. It is it's self harm, quite literally. I've got a lot of remote bombs. That's a weird thing to have since you only get one per pickup. Pickups are generally very uncommon. And rope bombs are very bad. Unless you do an exploit caused by bad programming, allowing you to guarantee max damage. There's no more health refills, which means my only real choice here is to die. Or a shield. That's also a choice. Oh, people being 
Complimentary in chat. Nice. And Connor Rose is here. Thank you for stopping by. Connor Rose gave a pretty kindly and large contribution last week. So if you wanted to choose a vehicle and character combo, I will, later in this stream, play through that level as that character in any Twisted Metal game. Open offer. Your call there, Connor Rose. Wow. That's more content for you. I have absolutely no idea who you're going to choose. Unless it is... Grasshopper. In... I don't know, Holland? Holland, honestly, not as scary as you would think. Spoilers for what's to come. Right, Manslaughter. Manslaughter's a valid choice. Or Club Kid. Plenty of Club Kid we could show off. <laughs> Plenty of evil you could do with this choice that I've given people. Which is why I have provided the option. Bring on that evil. I mean, the contributions are doing enough good. You've earned a little evil. Oh, perfect. My special landed me right next to Axel. Just deliver me up on a silver platter, why don't you? So now we have an extra life to work with. Which is a huge resource in this level where healing pickups are so uncommon. This level seems as though it's a mistake that there aren't more health refills available. Not even entirely sure what happened there. I guess Shadow like rammed me out of the way to establish dominance. Who's dominant now? Off to a very good start. But we do still have a lot of deadly, deadly opponents. Absolutely everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Spectre's here. Spectre has been a huge pain while I was practicing for this run. And yes, despite all appearances, I did practice a lot for this run. It's really just that hard. People who've done this deathless are very, very, very good at this game. Just to compliment them as they comment and discuss on this video. Maybe they're right to do so. Yeehaw! Just jumping for joy. Which, of course, kills your momentum. Everything about our specials. Devastating. Just gotta not use it as much as possible. That'll facilitate not using it. Stuff like that happens when I do use it. But there are only three enemies left. One of them's at half health, so... I do have a lot of resources to expend. Despite almost every pickup in the level being collected and unlikely to reappear anytime soon. As 
my special being totally hilariously worthless. Bye, Axel. You had me cornered. He still did plenty of harm. Left his mark. If I can get onto the rooftops, I get a lot of HP. That is a big if. The enemies are leaving me alone, however, Spectre could snipe me at a moment's notice. He opted not to do so. That is dear luck. But we do still have resources to spend. One of those resources is one of our extra lives, so... All things considered, this run is going very well. I assure you. Could not select the weapon that I wanted. Which is another common problem that I have with this game. The weapons turn in a direction that I don't consider natural screws me up very often. This might kill nobody. Could have killed somebody. I cannot get a lock on on my special here. Finally did, but it hurled me into the Eiffel Tower instead of uh, the enemy. Death will represent a recovery of resources, so I gladly accept it. And I get ready to finish this off finally. Hey, they're like intentionally working together to come from opposite directions and swerve away anytime I prepare for the arrival of one so that the other can sneak up behind me. The AI in this game is super weird. Very strange. I frequently do not know what it is even trying to do. But there we go. Enemies toasted. I'm just quitting out. Up. Oh. Get double inputs registered. Unfortunately. We'll use that again in a moment when I return to Amazonia. Got a need for speed. Up. Did not realize my special would be the first thing selected. I should have, because that is always the case. I'm just used to playing as vehicles where that's a good thing. It's never a good thing with Grasshopper. Even when you want to use the special, you want to do it in very, very deliberate situations. the least all-purpose of the specials. Because using it at the even slightly wrong time punishes you. Probably hurts you physically on the H HP bar. And places you where you do not want to be. Devastating in every way to misfire this thing. being weirdly non-aggressive until I say something. 
are just waiting to be summoned. Verbally. I appreciate enemies. Now wait for consent. Before murdering you. That's just polite. Oh, almost got the uh, from downtown napalm to land. That never happens though, because the hitbox on the napalm is much, much smaller than it appears. You're not allowed to go in there, Twister. Probably due to bad programming though, the napalm needs to hit with the orb that you've Pearl, or it doesn't count. You're lucky if enemies that even, like, drive directly through the pool of fire even catch a light. Thumper stealing a health refill when he's at full health. I will say our special tends to work abnormally well in this level. However, the momentum you gain from it can be abnormally devastating because of the shape of all the terrain. I've talked before about angled momentum in this game, where if you touch any incline at all, your momentum takes on the shape of that incline until you touch something else. So if you get launched airborne, you will like swerve in all sorts of weird directions in midair. I find it to be impossible to control, but I need to control it. Oh, this is another level, just advanced warning, where I'm very likely to game over, possibly multiple times in a row. Grasshopper is extremely ill-suited to the upcoming boss fight. And the level itself ain't no cakewalk either. So if I simply squeak by without a game over, that will be very, very impressive. Even if it takes multiple game overs to do so. Useless napalms. I'm being very careful. Surgical, one might say. I tend to like this level, and I don't know why. Because the layout of all the platforms is horrible. Because of the angle momentum programming makes it really hard to control anything. Which makes it really hard to land any hit. And it also makes the AI sort of freak out and do weird crap, which it already does. Do excess. So everyone ends up just flailing uselessly at one another at this level. And I still tend to have a pretty good time here. I have no idea why. Can't explain it. Perhaps I don't need to. Where the hell is everybody? Supposedly, yeah, Mr. Slam is driving through the lava for some weird reason. I got five specials. As noted, they tend to actually function for the damage dealing purpose in this level. I don't know if the programming, like, specifically is, like, level by level for functionality. Or if it's just a weird coincidence. It seems that way. I'm dead. Couldn't be more dead. Five enemies left. 
One of them is Mr. Slamming me. Because it's Mr. Slam. I could kill him, but I cannot get him in my sights. Ah. Keeps going down. Elevation levels. Because the AI is drunk here. One nice thing about this level is all the slopes means that if you use a remote mine pretty much anywhere, it will experience the glitch that causes it to do max damage to everything in its radius. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> Shielded at the very last moment to save myself. That was almost this whole run right in the trash. But as noted, this run is unlikely to succeed, and the numbers are suddenly very much not in my favor. Four on one with a boss fight coming up. I have one extra life in stock. Okay. Thumper has one HP. Can't get a clean hit on him. This might do it. Gotcha. When an attack is lethal with your special, it seems to be more likely to actually hit and less likely to deal damage to you in the process. Like making physical contact with the enemy's hitbox is what hurts you. And they don't have a hitbox if they explode in the process of getting hit with the special. So, pretty good. If you can kill a target with your special, you might not even suffer horribly for attempting to do so. But then again, you might. Anything's possible. It's super random. Sweet Tooth appears to have gone underground for some reason. So we can play at this game. Probably gonna lose another life, because the two remaining enemies have a ton of HP between them. And I don't have a lot of ways to whittle it down without taking damage. I will not win that War of Attrition. So I guess I just gotta get lucky on whether or not they decide to attack me while we're jousting. So far, Warthog has opted not to do so. He changed his mind. I'm dead. Super dead. So we'll probably get to the boss and then just be obliterated. Minion is super hard for Grasshopper, because everything is super hard for Grasshopper. Thank you, Napalm. Doing a great job as always with your microscopic hitbox despite a gargantuan explosion. No bombs would be okay. What I need to do to stand a ghost of a chance is load up my entire inventory right now. Just get ready to hurl it at Minion when he shows up. Specifically, minion special. That thing. Is our best choice for dealing damage. Because our energy will properly reset when the boss fight begins. So I'm not wasting a resource. Bam. We actually get to use our special 
because the sine wave attack pattern of Sweet Tooth's attack will not hit us while we are airborne. Probably, unless the timing is very unfortunate. So I tried hiding inside this little alcove and uh, cheesing Minion in practice, and Minion just w went in. The AI is not allowed to just go into that area, but he did anyway. So who's going to tell him what to do? He's last year's winner. I am quite deceased at this very moment. May not seem like it. Okay. Still alive, I'm not going to turn back the way I normally would. We'll waste all my power missiles to blow up statues that have way too much HP. Swerving wildly. If I had a second life to spare, he'd be doing great. Instead, every time I get anywhere near Minion, he's gonna beat the hell out of me. And one of the health refills didn't spawn at all. Possibly Minion went and grabbed it. Accidentally. So he'll do that sometimes. Guarding the exit here. The homing on his shots failed him there. Let's not speak too soon on whether or not Minion is going to lose this fight against the Dune Buggy. I'd say he's got the advantage. We'll see. Oh, hey. Maxed out my inventory. My energy bar. If homing decides to work, sort of do some horrible, evil stuff. Or I can use power missiles. Which don't require homing. Let's, uh, quit out there. Victory having been attained. With no game overs. Halfway through this run. In an hour. Agonizing, but... Ultimately, still slightly better than I feared. Very, very slightly better. Could legitimately be worse. Not by a very wide margin, but uh, yeah. Clearly handling things. Uh, down I go. <laughs> Off to a great start there. <laughs> so, the latter half of this game also presents many, many challenges. For example, if we attempt to use our special anywhere in the New York level, it can randomly kill us. Just, the lock-on won't work, and it will give us way too much momentum that we cannot control. And, wow. Well, that was a bad spawn point. So, we're doing great. Couldn't ask for anything to be going better right now. Literally haven't even encountered an enemy. And I've still died instantly every single time. <laughs> okay. I think this is the first place we started out as well. I will speed 
onto a rooftop I can actually handle. Ah, uh, Mr. Slam. Infinite combo thing. Which is very fun. And, uh, yeah, I gotta quit again. That was just bad luck. As soon as I got touched with a free shot from an enemy that I couldn't see, I was done for. Because that's actually bad design. They really should not have allowed freezes to stack like that. And I think that's why they made cheap shots a thing. In Twisted Metal Black. Cheap shots make it so that if you freeze someone who is already frozen, you get frozen instead. So not only does it not extend the freeze timer, but you are punished. Okay. Again, maybe Mr. Slam won't appear this time. We can hope. We can certainly hope and pray that that happens. There, no Mr. Slam. We got this. So, we got a ricochet. We got weird momentum that threatened to hurl me over the edge, but didn't end up happening. Ah, I went down with the ship. Ricochets are very, very powerful. And clearly extremely useful in this level. But they're pretty hard to use. And also, I legitimately don't know why I ended up going over the edge there, but I did. We'll accept that because took someone with me, at least. We're just gonna want as many ricochets as we can get. I think someone fell and died? Yeah. No idea who, but good riddance. Look through this wall to see what Shadow's doing. Shadow can shoot through walls, so I guess I should not rely on that. He was starting to do so. Hi, Axel. Uh, shield combo work, please. Thank you. Love it. Love the way things work. Twist the metal too. So. This is not going to go particularly well. I guess if I get better luck on things that I've been trying to do, we'll do great. And if not, we won't. Or they won't. Things, that is. Go great. If you follow what I'm saying here. Excellent shot. Special. Really doing me a lot of favors. Really needed it to work there. But it refused. That's essentially the AI cheating. Because the AI does control my special. I don't. I just fire it off and see what happens. And more often than not, nothing happens. Uh, energy moves also. You can fire off and nothing will happen. Sometimes they work, though. Those are good times. 
don't know why Warthog's almost dead. We could actually squeeze this out. Because the full health refill keeps respawning. And someone else fell off the building. So this level has basically won itself. And I might still game over because I have to actually fight Shadow. Gonna attempt a number of exploits. If they go awry, I'm dead. And if not, I win. That might have done it. He's stuck over the edge. I think he's falling. Yes, finally. I'll join ya. So very, very briefly, you saw me land on the kill plane, lose all my HP, and I could still drive around. So after that miraculous victory, we do get to move on. And yeah, touching the kill plane after you've already won does not kill you. If I'd done that earlier, I'd be able to actually drive around for a little while until the level ended. It's kind of a neat thing. So. Antarctica. Antarctica carries the additional challenge of requiring us to beat it without ever losing a life. So that we have a full inventory to carry into Holland. Because Holland doesn't have anywhere near enough pickups to kill all the enemies in it. So I will attempt to do this without uh, dying at all. I will fail at this attempt. And after I have failed, we will carry on and I will probably game over. Just all the way, lose all my lives rather than none. Because we're still in the hard part of the game. This level is ridiculously random and the last level was also very random. It pretty much played itself to completion, so... Anything's possible here. What we want is to use these ricochets to kill everybody. Got a little unlucky. Thumper escaped. Called in backup. Right as I was about to hurl him over the edge with naught but ricochets. As we know, the quirk of ricochets is that if you fire them while you're moving at all, they'll hit you instead. So you'd have to stay perfectly motionless in order to use them properly. Someone hurled themselves into the abyss. Lucky me. Ah, calm down. All right, we're not getting that. That's probably fine. That one's gone. Someone else is dead. That's good news. I'm going to guess Twister. Nope, I see Twister. Oh, what just happened? That's right. We have literally no armor. So just making contact with Hammerhead fired Hammerhead Special at me, which dealt half my health bar all at once. So like I said, we're going to continue on. We have been dealt a pretty good hand. And despite an obvious 
easily avoidable error. Things are still going pretty okay. Don't want to screw around with Thumper here, because this will happen. All my health could be gone. And indeed it is. Means to recover health are dwindling. At this point, we can get the thing from, uh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. We can get the full health from over here. Or we can get the one floating above the broken, I call it a bridge. But I have absolutely no idea what that structure is supposed to be. Okay. Last chance to get the full health, and I got it. Excellent. Oh. He got away, though. Took no damage. All my attacks with the teleporter itself. A lot of power missiles. Ah. Grim, why? Making me go down with the ship. He's literally freeze comboing me. I am proud of you for coming with me, Mr. Grim. Oh no. Too much momentum. This is still winnable, and this level has been ridiculously random. We have absolutely and completely failed at bringing an inventory into the next level. That is simply not feasible. Which means the next level is not feasible. Because there are not enough pickups in the next level. I wide margin. We saw it with Mr. Grimm. And this vehicle is a lot weirder than Mr. Grimm is. It is literally and no exaggeration unwinnable to enter the next level if you uh, do not have inventory left over from this level. We won't. So, oh my god, I can't get a jump to go off. Really need the controls to actually work for a change. Of all the things Grasshopper is unable to do, she's normally pretty good at hopping. Would not get it to work there. Needed that. Make sure there's actual ground before I move on to a new platform. My platform is going away. Good shot. It's the blind one into the abyss. Worked out. I can try and set up. Ah, nothing. There's no pickups anywhere. All the pickups have fallen off of the level. That's how this one goes. Absolutely cannot dream of using my special at this point. There's nowhere to land. Uh, 
uh, for some reason, Roadkill just lost all of his HP. I'm gonna guess Thumper misfired his special and accidentally hit Roadkill with it. First person who stops by is dead. Maybe they'll both arrive at the same time. Or not. And then when Thumper comes to join me, he'll probably also die. It's gotta happen eventually. I mean, there's almost nothing left over there for him to drive around on. By sheer random stumbling. He'll either bump into the teleporter or bump into the uh, kill plane <laughs> and die. Speaking of dying, that is what I'm about to do in the Field of Screams. Which is fine. Why am I so calm about the fact that I will have to replay the entirety of the Antarctica level in order to get an adequate inventory so that I can actually beat this level? That seems like an insurmountable challenge. Certainly not a thing I'd want to do at this point in the stream when it's been this long already. Might have a trick up my sleeve. Just to uh, save myself the inevitable headache of this game's really bad design choice to not put enough weapons in all the levels. There's not a lot of bad design choices in this game. But when they whiff, they whiff super hard. Just cataclysmically bad choices. In a handful of spots. Shot. Haven't been using my special for a long time, so it feels good to yeehaw again. Perfect. No idea how long that ricochet was going around. Down to hit someone. Unlike my special, which is never bound to hit anyone. There we go. So... Connor Rose got it. This is a situation here where all enemies are toasted, I have two lives remaining, and I have a lot of fire missiles and homing missiles. Still going to be fairly difficult to beat the level we got coming up, but well within the realm of feasibility. Another fun fact about the um, campaign we're going through here with Grasshopper. The passwords on sites like GameFAQs and Fandom.com, every online resource that lists passwords for this game that I was able to find has them listed incorrectly for the Grasshopper campaign, such that they do not work. It's possible there are different versions of the game wherein the passwords they have listed do work. I don't think that's the case. But the passwords they have listed are very wrong. 
for like half the levels. The other half are right. It's very, very strange and inexplicable. So what I had to do was go through, play through the whole game in advance of this stream and write down all the passwords along the way. Just to maximize the amount of inconvenience that I had to go through. I did a ton of preparation for this one. Despite it being one of the most disastrous playthroughs I've performed yet. That much was still inevitable. Axel... No power, please? Do it. Okay, he died. Put myself in harm's way and work out. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Yeah. I think you can shield mid-jump, save yourself. The window for doing so would be very tight, and inputting energy moves while you're trying to do something. Like, in any sort of tight window, increases the probability that the energy move will misfire and otherwise not work. We already know the probability of that happening is very, very, very high. Good ribbon slam. Legitimately glad to see you go. Make sure the special did not Accidentally fire off. Just did immediately get selected. I'm way, way, way behind on kills. The missiles that I started out with should have killed two or three enemies. Instead, they killed Axel. Now, the place I have the save state set up means that every time I load it, it will re-roll the enemies that are present and their locations and their behaviors and stuff. Like so. It's far enough back that it hasn't rolled the RNG for the upcoming level. Which is neat. So we're gonna see a completely different experience. re-entering the field of screams. For the second time, but probably not the last time. In practice, though, I did beat this in one attempt. So this is by no means the hardest part of the run. I would say far from it. In fact, Hong Kong is the hardest part of the run. By an extremely wide margin, and we're gonna suffer horribly when we get there. Do not expect it to be a relief when I beat this level. Nice to know what the homing shots have selected as their target. one of the three guys who prioritizes free shots over every other attack. Actually, um, Grasshopper's AI does exactly that as well. So it's kind of nice to have Axel... Axel... Grasshopper. I'm hearing Axel's name way too frequently right now to say any other name. 
It's nice to have Grasshopper out of the pool. So that we spend less time frozen. Five missiles left over. It feels like that's nowhere near enough damage input output to win this. It is paramount that we actually fire all of our weapons and hit targets with every weapon we fire. Otherwise, victory is, as noted, effectively impossible, and the full health just exploded, so... Back into it. There's our crew. Showing up as fast as they possibly could. Sometimes getting hit will cancel your special in mid-hop. Not always, though, weirdly enough. I'm already going to go for the full health refill because it's probably going to explode soon. So getting any use out of it is better than none. While we're here, I'll just grab everything. Alright, frozen by Mr. Slam, so there's no coming out of that. There goes the other tower. Had not yet pillaged that tower, and they knew it. So they had to blow up its contents. It actually is a good strategy. Which means I hate it. Not like they did it intentionally. The AI in this game is just totally random. Very unpredictable. Ah, I'm frozen again. Mr. Slam really prioritizing. He's coming right at me. Keep me immobile. Oh, he feels back. Special selected, which is horrible. Get that thing out of here. And now we just need to worry about the AI that determines whether or not our homing shots go for a target that they can actually hit. Because you can fire them into a crowd and it will select the enemy that is closest to you based on proximity, and uh, that enemy will be the least likely to actually get hit with the missile. Close one. Now let's just blow myself up. Why not at this point? We heard almost the entire song. Not bad for a first life. I mean, it actually is pretty bad, all things considered. Wow. You get the hell out of here. Outlaw is typically the last one to die, so... That's another one I'm glad to see gone. Outlaw's very dangerous. Hammerhead can be, but... With the large amount of space available to us, we can typically avoid the one thing that makes Hammerhead vaguely threatening. There are two extremely dangerous foes ready to explode. Thumper's not long for this world as well. It's 
the numbers sure ain't good. Not as bad as they seem. I did think Axel was closer to death than he actually is. High slam. Nice to meet you. Axel helped me out a little bit. Always nice when that happens. Really, really wish any of my attacks would target the uh, three or four enemies that were about to die. Tragic. But we're gonna enjoy this song for a much longer time. I have sincerely heard the song for hours of my life. And most people who've played this game would say the same. Okay, sniped from a million miles away by a free shot that could not possibly be put to actual use. Fancy driving. Got a Mr. Slam there. Like, just imagine if you saw an actual um, backhoe or whatever that vehicle is doing the maneuver he just did. It's just some very impressive maneuvering. That was Simon Whittlebow. Glorious Pizzerano's here. Glad to have ya. All my regulars here. To enjoy the train wreck. That this was always gonna be. I'd even say it's going pretty well. This playthrough. Oh. Health refill into Thumper. That makes things not so great. Oh shit, that's uh, very, very appreciated, Pizzerato. Gift subs. Congrats to the recipients. Enjoy the uh, ridiculous emotes that I made, most of which are based off of uh, Twisted Metal 2 sprites. I'm out of there. I, uh, I could have theoretically gotten a health refill. That was my first life, though. Granted, only one person died. And I don't see a, anyone else at particularly low health. So that was a terrible first life. Yeah, this is not going well. It's going better now. Free shots coming from literally every direction. Of all people, Roadkill decided to freeze me. Quite the move there. I just blew up the tower myself. Not confessing to a crime. I swear. It was in self defense. Someone exploded in some capacity. Cannot use my special, because it'll kill me. But so will not using my special. Ah! 
as noted, this is far from the most difficult part of this run. It's a very, very difficult run. Previous parts, I would say, are actually harder than what we're doing here. Not by a very wide margin, though. And the next part is going to put this to shame. Sorry to say. Shadow's ready to die. Good thing it's already in a hearse. Because it is dead. Hammerhead I can handle. You really want to take enemies out. You need them dead. Dealing a ton of damage to an enemy is less valuable than killing an enemy that's already at lower health. Spectre especially needs to go. Spectre can hit me from anywhere at any time. So, glad to be rid of that. stuff. Even got a good damage roll on the special. So one enemy left, but it's Warthog. Warthog, I've called the mini-boss of this level. But I do have full health. Not a lot of weaponry available, so I will drive in circles waiting for my energy bar to recover. Because that is fun gameplay from Single Track Studios. It's pretty much ready to go. It paid off. <laughs> we missed the last note of the song. But otherwise, perfect timing. Yeah, I don't think that was five or six attempts. I want to say four, but some of them were very short. Like, disastrous right off the bat. So it is a bit hard to keep track since some of them were absolute oblivion. We going for a swim. I wanted my lives back. Ironic that you would Pay for a gift sub when we're free from Holland, but I appreciate it. I appreciate the irony. Now, let's make a real attempt at the Hong Kong level. Starting off with Warthog dead would be nice. Got a weird side hit with my special. Our machine gun has done a lot of the killing throughout this run. That's how bad this car is, that the machine gun is among its best resources that you frequently have to fall back on. Every other vehicle, I actively avoid using the machine gun.
here I don't have much else. So if... Really? That took... Six attempts. And basically killed this run. To get that minion special to fire off properly. Despise the way detection of energy moves works in this game. Ah, well. Already off to a better start. Not lined up for any kills yet. Most of my successful runs of this level have started off with a kill right off the bat. And as I was saying, if Mr. Slam starts his special while he is right next to you, even if it misses by a mile, you roll afterwards, telekinetically. Mr. Slam is a psychonaut. And he will just hurl you around from any distance that he feels like. That includes if you're like vertically above him when he starts a special. It's very badly programmed, like many things in this video game that was slapped together in a year. So I don't blame them. They didn't expect the first Twisted Metal to be such a hit. Weren't ready for it. Did their best to put together a sequel. And for the most part, the design of the sequel is very strong. No enemies died. We're done here. Cannot be the first one dead, tragically because resources are far too scarce. But yeah, I have a lot of complaints about the design of Twisted Metal 2. There have been some rose-colored glasses over the years. And they introduced the napalm attack with its giant overhead arc that makes it totally unable to hit anything. A thing that most other twisted metals would also do. At least the napalm in this game has mild homing. It's extremely weak, rarely compensates for the tiny hitbox. But they recognized the problem and tried to fix it. And then future games had more of an opportunity to fix it. They just made it worse. No bombs. Fortunately, I'm frozen. Use them as pseudo jumping attacks. Seems fitting. Oh, Shadow inexplicably did not steal the health refill, but replaced it somehow. Shadow should have had way higher health had he actually taken the health refill. How's Thumpy doing? 
Better than me. But not by a very wide margin. This could be pulled out. I should not hang out in the temple. The temple is a bad place to fight. And to be. Hammerhead. Doing some risky business. Which is paying off. I can't hit him. And he's freeze comboing me. And for some reason his special doesn't break a freeze. The way most other attacks do. This sucks. Got rid of him. That took way too many resources. That's brutal. We do have health refills still available. Rather not spend them because of that, but... It's what I got. Yeah, he did do some rear freezing there. A thing that is impossible for the player. I will remind us. That seemed to be a full damage special out of Axel. It does have bad coating, which allows it to do full damage at, uh, ridiculous ranges. It's another thing that has bad coating in that way. Every attack that has, um, variable damage based on range can theoretically deal max damage at any range in the right circumstances. One enemy down. And that's enough. Got this. Sure, Axel can just spam his special. Mutilate me. With ease. And I can grab a full health refill. What even got me there? Feels like that was a missile hitting me through the ground. Another one down. Not a very scary one, though. Went for a shield, it was obviously too late. Reactionary shields are impossible. Energy moves of any sort are often impossible. That was an actually dangerous foe taken out. But there's still at least one of those. There he is. Blue one is Outlaw. Outlaw is also extraordinarily dangerous, so... Brace ourselves for that. I've had runs where I had full health. Outlaw was the only enemy remaining and had pretty low health. And I got infinite comboed by her special as well, because most specials in this game can infinite combo you. And ended up dead. Very docile Warthog. Just lucky. It's typically way more aggressive. Healing opportunities. 
Don't see any. Ooh, I'm very dead. Yeah. One freeze, and that's the rest of your life. If an enemy is inclined to freeze combo you, you uh, cannot break out of it. Because they remove the ability to manually break freezes. It was present in the first game. They decided that was bad design and got rid of it. And they made enemies spam free shots endlessly. It's like they wanted it to be the way that the AI could win. Maybe they didn't trust their own programming or something. Gave them that failsafe of an unlimited, unstoppable attack. That could just kill you from full. Matter what you do. This vehicle handles very poorly. I've mentioned it before. But just the shape of it and the exact amount of speed that it gets interacts very, very poorly with every environment in the game. So it is meant to have tight controls, but in practice, it's one of the worst controlling vehicles in the game. And the subway is one of the worst areas to control in the game, because the sides are banked. So some of the stickiest walls in the game. You touch them and you start to clip into them. And then your momentum gets all weird. I guess if you tried hard enough, you could probably get through those walls and go out of bounds. I don't think there's a lot of reason to do so. Here I'm getting telekinesis. And there, my rear fire was not working. Failed detection on the energy move. Probably gonna get sniped a few times, but shouldn't be lethal before I can acquire the full health. Although I did start at the worst possible spot to get the full health was as far away from the direction I was turning as possible. Just a little drive-by tornado. Not in Kansas anymore. Okay. Back in control. Nope. Picked a bad target. Totally wasted. <laughs> really wish the detection on who you should lock on to worked better. But we did see in the last game that it just, at the last level, that it just uh, is bad. get frozen. Oh, Yeehaw, bit. I'm not gonna get anyone. Yeah, I don't know what that was. So there's a thing that happens surprisingly often. The attack locked onto a phantom target. 
and insisted on getting me to a specific spot where there was no enemy. I don't know why I detected a target there. But for some reason, it absolutely needed me to go to that spot. But because there was no enemy there, it never detected a land or a hit landing. So I just sort of jumped up and down for a very long time. Wiggling the screen. Sorry about that. Random chance for that to happen every time I fire the special. Uh-oh. Excuse me, Twister. Upper did not choose to follow me very closely. Perfect time to do that. And that. Going for that special. Clearly, as she did it. She went for it successfully. I really wish Shadow was susceptible to damage from his own special, as he's meant to be. It would go a very, very long way towards balancing him. That also goes a long way towards balance again. Killing him outright. I'm dead. Got hit with a free shot, so it's all over. Oh, for the record, I consider this level atrocious. This is my least favorite level in the game. By far. I hate the Hong Kong level. I think it's actually very, very badly designed. Um, I have heard people say in comments that they like it a lot. So... Maybe there's something to it that I've missed all these years. But legitimately, I think this level sucks horribly. Just bottom tier trash. One of the worst levels in the entire franchise. Now I game over for shit talking. Not quite, but close, and probably soon. Oh, the tornado canceled my special, <laughs> which clearly not survivable. That's a one HP twister. Give me a game over. And she was at one HP while doing all that damage. Honestly, I also hate the music in this level. It's thematically appropriate, but it's another one of those levels where the music is just a joke. Same as Frere Jaca in the Paris level, which is another crappy song. relatively well composed, but yeah, I like the original music that isn't a takeoff on the area you're in. Way better than the music that is just a joke on the area you've landed in arbitrarily. No choice of your own. Although I will say, the Moscow level actually does have some, like, traditional Russian music-style themes in it. And the Moscow level also has very, very good music. So when the soundtrack hits, it does a really good job. But it often misses, in my opinion. I also have very little nostalgia for this game. 
having played it. I played it when it was new, but very infrequently. Because I didn't have a PS1. Whoa. That was a bad intersection to be going through. I got T-boned six different ways. Yeah, I've talked about how I played this game at a friend's house. And did very badly. Uh, the, I don't like this run. We'll try again. Probably would not have gotten very far. But would have wasted a lot of time. Oh, I'm at the point where I can start. Hello. Follower who is... Not being shown to me, unfortunately, because my Twitch notifications are not working properly in the app. And there's no way to correct that. But thank you for the follow. It's a shame that I've gotten multiple follows during this playthrough, and it's one of the worst possible playthroughs to be watching. I do these every week, and they're all consistently better than this. This is just a bad character in a flawed game. The better characters make up for the flaws in this game. And generally give me a better experience. So, tune in for any other character in any other game for a better time. One down. I'm not the first casual T, at least. But, oh, it's that. Uh, where? Where is it? Uh, nope. They're all hanging out back there. Good for them. Need to interrupt the party. Uh, I died in the process, but... Quite the way to go out. Enemies are very hard back there. stay away from Axel so I don't die. Axel being laughably overpowered. Well, he's decided that I'm going in the subway. So I guess I'll do that. There should be a health refill somewhere in here. Not in the best spot, though, so I gotta do a full lap. I would say I had way more fun with my Hammerhead full playthrough and a much easier time. So even though Hammerhead sucks and desperately needs like two extra points of armor on him, still a better, val better balanced vehicle than what we got here. damage rolls on my power missile. Better damage rolls on my special. It's another dangerous foe taken out. You don't want to swerve because then when you hit the wall you will actually bounce off of the platform. But if you're facing forward you bounce less intensely. I'm about to get hit by Spectre. Probably. Okay, maybe not. Fortunately not. Get a 
beautiful. How many enemies we got left? Five? That's nothing. A lot of them are ready to die. Sweet Tooth can be taken out with a single minion special. Roadkill can be taken out with much less. And... No one's actually coming in. Did I lock the temple door behind me or something? Why is no one entering? Bizarre behavior from all the vehicles. Yeah, no one's coming in. I'm actually hearing them bounce against something at the front gate. And then Minion Special <laughs> chooses the ground to attack. Perfect. Great choice. It's fine. I mean, it's probably going to work out at this point. Could be working out way better. If only all the circumstances were different. Yeah, that just wasted a lot of time, sadly. Quite a few resources as well. Rendering things way less fun. Not yet doomed. I'm dead. I'm not quite dead. I expect a spe Spectre special to come at me anytime, a ghost missile. Any second. I don't have much to live for, but I do need multiple enemies deceased before I can afford another death. And all I have is one special to work with. I have no specials to work with. It's weird that I haven't been sniped yet. Spectre could have done it at any time. And has opted not to. Weirdly fair of him. I mean, it's gonna happen at the worst possible moment now. Oh no you don't. Nothing out of my special. Did successfully rear fire the power missile. So I guess I'll continue skating by 1 HP and not getting sniped by Spectre. God knows why. He could do it at any moment. Just AI deciding to allow me to live. I think they think they're toying with me. might not realize how badly they're doing. Oh, that's not the right thing. Not even slightly. I don't use free shots very often. Causing me to screw up their input. That's the right thing. Spectre is all that's left. He's just been hanging out here at the docks for a while. Maybe we could just live and let live. Cancel the tournament. Nope, Spectre has decided he wants to win. A little too late for him, though. It is unlikely that he will take me out. He can be a pain in the ass when he is not the last guy, but fortunately he is the last guy. 
That's unfortunate for him. It's great for us. And... Dartooth finally emerges after two hours and 15 minutes. I'll try and kill him. I don't have enough of anything for it to be reasonable to expect to do so. And I just whiffed with my entire energy ball. So, all the more improbable. Missed with... Napalm. Then I succeeded with a special, which you don't want when you are Grasshopper. Fortunately, this game's one mercy and possibly best design choice is to give you a password that takes you right to the final boss. Visible in game, so it's not a cheat. It's easy to miss, it only appears in the start menu, whereas most other passwords appear on the loading screen. But that is a huge deal. I legitimately would not be able to do these full playthroughs of this particular game if not for this one design choice. It is legitimately a saving grace and good stuff. I sincerely like it about this game. The final boss is actually manageable because you don't have to do it all in one go with a very long, very difficult level. gonna get any use out of my special, and I did bully Darktooth into a health refill. I despise the placement of that uh, health refill. Why is it just in the middle of the street like that? It's such a bad spot for it. Enemies are always grabbing it accidentally. And I assume that is why it has been placed there, so that enemies can just randomly stumble into it, because their AI typically is not designed to go get health refills. Boy, did they ever overcorrect for that in Twisted Metal 3. But in Twisted Metal 1, health refills had not yet been invented as a thing. Strangely enough. Die. I was gonna try backing off. That's fine. You lose very little time game over on this fight, so. It's fine that I'm doing. Tried to ram him to death. I might have a small disadvantage in the size department. There's a one in a million chance I'll get to the full health before he kills me. Hey, one in a million. What do you know? Do I have a chance of pulling this out? Typically I don't even go for that. Because it's too risky. He teleports into the temple as soon as you go in there. All enemies toasted. We win. Oh no.
The head comes to life. Tries to bite me. I'll wait for it. It's only polite. Up. Oh, it is not being polite in return. So I don't like my odds. I don't think I ever got the health refills from over here. Wait, this is... I'm reading the map backwards. It's certainly not going to get me what I need. There's a health refill way in the distance. Ah, this car. Just super wide turns. I think the, uh, the tight controls, quote-unquote, make it so that if you try to take, like, a full 360 spin, which is something I rely upon, you actually have enough traction that you don't go directly forward while spinning. And the result is, you miss what you're trying to grab. When you're trying to get very precise hitbox. Not the special. The special's bad. Gotta use it anyway. But it puts me in range of Dark Tooth's melee attack where he just jumps on you, and it is catastrophic if it hits. The most devastating attack that he has. And I get it this time. Yes! Victory. And redemption. And... Waiting for Dark Tooth. Come on down. He's trying to attack me. Can't do it. Oh, he got a health refill. I think? I'm pretty sure he had lower health from that earlier. Maybe I'm misremembering. <laughs> so... Maybe we should, like, place bets on whether or not the Twister playthrough will be easier than this. I suspect it will be. But I've been told that is not the case. As difficult, if not more so, is what I've been told to expect. You shall see. Relatively soon, because as noted, there are not very many vehicles left. I saved the worst for last. Wanted to send Twisted Metal 2 off on a dark note. <laughs> Special, feel free to work. Okay, I'll use my machine gun. As noted, the machine gun is one of the best tools we have at our disposal. I suppose mathematically, 
the Twister playthrough will be precisely as bad as this one. Because her stats are also miserable. She is fast, though. She's good at one thing. Very much unlike Grasshopper, who is bad at all things. Ah, let me go back. Pretty sure the head can teleport in here. That is not the buttons that I hit. Why did I fire a free shot? Um, I got some turbo. So the controller has been miss. Oh, my turbo went away. Everything went wrong there. That was super weird. Didn't even come close to standing a chance. Oh well. The controller has been misreading certain inputs, and it does that with every playthrough I do of Twisted Metal 2 and only Twisted Metal 2. So it has to be a coding thing, like... Specifically, this game is... Probably programmed incorrectly to read inputs that you entered long before that moment. Or something like that. It's just very confusing. But it caused the free shot to go off there, and it was causing me to swerve while I was trying to do that platforming. As previously noted, this vehicle is heavily reliant on turbo, which is a problem if you're going to die at any point. Turbo is actually plentiful if you never, ever die. If you do a Deathless run of this game, you will probably end up with Turbo in the hundreds. Just triple-digit Turbo. But if you ever die, you're probably going to run out. A lot of napalms and an unfortunate hit. Ah. So I went for the shield. I'm legitimately not sure if that's enough energy to have fired off the shield or what exactly happened there. Mostly just confused by what just happened. But what else is due, eh? That last fight against the severed head was the most baffling thing I've ever seen. So, expect the unexpected. Oh, uh, nope. Why is my special selected? I guess that was the last item in my inventory, so it scrolled forward and uh, overflowed up to the special. But the remote bomb would have been perfect there. Now it is notably imperfect. Resulting in my death. <clears throat> I did not expect this fight to go as poorly, but, you know. We can crack this one, this is nothing. After what we've been through. Let's use our machine guns. Last resource I have left. Gotta find some weapons somewhere, which do not respawn when this new boss phase starts. It's the 
the one time in the game where they reload a level and they do not restore all the pickups. I think that's a multiplayer coding in the multiplayer mode. If you like continue to loop through a level and play it over and over again, the status of the level will not be reset as you begin each play through the level. Allowing you to completely collapse the Antarctica level. Eventually just the teleporter and the area that the teleporter leads to will be all that remains of the Antarctica level. Gonna head over here so I'm near the health refill. Let's see if Dark Tooth comes to join me. What are the odds he has opted to do so? This is normally a victory lap, but uh, our car sucks, so it remains a bit of a challenge. The challenge is over. Time for our hard-earned prize. Lipso, you owe me. You owe me big. Daddy? It's me, Krista! I'm back! Krista? I thought you had died. I thought, in the car crash that almost killed me, you're alive! Property of the LAPD? I'm sorry, Father. They rebuilt me after the accident. They knew I could get close enough to you. They want to put a stop to all the violence you cause with your contest. Hold me, Daddy. I'm just a machine now, but I'm scared the explosion will hurt. LAPD thanks you. Job well done. No greater reward than that. Ugh. It deepens the lore of the game that, uh, Lipso had that daughter. But they don't do anything with it in this game, resulting in a fairly weak ending. Ah, well. And it's so difficult to get it. <laughs> you have to work so hard for that disappointment. At least that's another point in Twister's favor. No spoilers yet, but uh, Twister's ending is very good. So it does pay off to play through his Twister, despite the difficulty which is what we'll be seeing next time we play Twisted Metal 2. Look forward to that. I don't think I got a specific confirmation on whether Connor Rose wants a bonus level, but either way, we will be getting a bonus game. The stream continues. I'm going to play through Jet Moto, which will be a lot easier and more fun than what we just did. Two and a half hours to get through this Twisted Metal playthrough. Which is right in the ballpark of what I expected. The Mr. Grimm playthrough was worse, so there we go. Not my worst performance. Not quite. Will our playthrough of um, Twister's campaign be any better? We'll find out.
for now. Our time here is done, and I should really get on to Jet Moto as soon as possible. So, I am Fiendly, and I thank you for watching Twisted Monday.